Today we're going to be taking a look at my 1981 Electra Motors electric car. This car does not have a battery management system, so that means there's nothing monitoring each of the batteries to make sure that they're charged correctly and in good health. That leaves it up to me to do it manually. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. But first, I want to show you the equipment on a single battery before we get to the battery bank and start checking all of these. Here I have an old red top battery that I just pulled out of a car. It's probably been in that car 10 years or more. And there's two things that I'm going to need to test the battery. And that is a battery tester and a battery charger. So let's do a couple tests with this battery before we move on to the battery bank on my Electra. This is a battery tester from Top Don and this is really cool i've had battery testers before but not one as advanced as this this has some really neat features in it so you can see it is charged enough that it did turn on so we can do a battery test a cranking test a charging test and i guess we can probably save some data in here and go back and look at it later what I want to do right now is a battery test. It would have to be installed in the car to do the cranking test or the charging test, which obviously is testing your alternator there. So I'll go to battery test, then we select our battery type. I can enter in the CCA rating of this battery, which is 800. So I'll hit enter. Now it's testing this battery. says that we should replace this battery, that it's at 1% health, it is 0% charge, it also gives us the internal resistance of the battery. But what I've always been told is that you should always test your battery fully charged. So now I'm gonna hook up the battery charger, fully charge up this battery, and then we'll see what it says. I think this battery is still going to be bad, but it'll be interesting to see how this works and how this changes between a battery that I just pulled out of a car that's been sitting for a long time and with it fully charged. This charger has a lot of different selections for types of batteries. We have normal 12 volt cold AGM. This is for a large car size batteries. And then we have normal and cold AGM for the small batteries. The cold AGM is for if you have your car stored uh, in a very cold environment that's not what I have here today, so I will be using the normal selection. It also does six volt batteries and lithium batteries. And then if this battery is bad, we can set it into repair mode and see if the battery charger can bring this battery back to life. So I'll leave this in normal mode. If I wanted to move to a different mode, I would just tap it twice. And then every time we hit it twice, it will jump to the next mode. Now we can connect the battery charger. We will hit the mode button once again to confirm our selection. Okay, the charging has started. I'll leave it like this overnight and we'll come back and take a look at it. I left the battery charging overnight. You can see that we are at 100% now, but I can hear it sizzling. The battery is sizzling from this vent over here. So I don't have high hopes that this battery can be rescued. So it seems like it's completely ruined. But let's see what the tester says. Hook the tester up like before. Do a battery test. Should remember all of the settings. Health is 1%, which I think it said before. Charge is 95%. Yeah, don't think it said it was very charged before. So yes, this is really good at detecting a bad battery. It knows that it is charged, but it also knows that it is very unhealthy. Now that we know that this works, let's go try it on the Electra. Okay, I'm gonna start by checking the 12 volt battery in the car. I have had to replace this once already. I think there's something drawing power all the time and it's not been good on that battery. So we'll go to battery test. This is a regular flooded battery. 
we can put in the cold cranking amps which on this battery is 300 there we go hit enter it's testing the battery it's at 100 percent but it's only at 58 percent charge i probably drove this car three or four days ago so i definitely do have a draw on that battery so after i get done here i'll definitely put a trickle charger on that battery now let's move on to the batteries in the car these are six volt and this uh, tester is rated for 12 and 24 volts so it's not going to work 100 percent correctly but i think it will give us enough information that we can determine what we need to do um, with this device so we'll go to battery test regular flooded the cold cranking amps of these batteries is 450 I'll hit enter and what this is doing is determining the internal resistance of the batteries and it does that by comparing the voltage without a load on it and then a voltage with a resistance on it probably something about four ohms somewhere in there and then it uses uh, a mathematical calculation to determine the internal resistance due to the variance in those two voltages so as you can see, it says check tester. And I think that's because we're connected to a six volt battery right now, but it does still give us our internal resistance of the battery. And of course, charge is 0% because it sees it's, it is at 6.23 volts, which is just fine because we're using a six volt battery. So what I can do is check my voltages of all of the batteries and check my internal resistances and then look for a deviation of on that and if either of them are very far off, I'm going to want to charge up my entire battery bank and make sure that they are all charged exactly the same and then recheck of them. And then I'll know for sure that I have a bad battery. So let me check all the ones in the front of the car first, see if they deviate very far from 6.23 and 1.06, and then I can decide what to do next. And the good thing is it does remember your last settings, so it won't take me long to work through all of these. This battery right here is just charged a little bit further. This is 6.08 instead of 6.2 like the rest of them. This one right here is also at 6.08. This one is in between at 6.15. And the internal resistance is quite a bit different. This is 2.43. And this time the tester is saying charge and retest. Before I move on to the batteries in the back and before I forget, I'm going to put a charger on this battery. So I'll just use the normal 12 volt setting, hit the mode button to start it should start charging there it goes the rear of the car has 10 more batteries that need tested Here's another one with a higher internal resistance. This says 2.88, but the voltage is about the same as what all the rest in the rear have been. Okay, it looks like most of my batteries are about the same voltage. It varies by about a quarter of a volt, about 0.2 volts. I think there was four batteries that showed twice the internal resistance of the others. What I need to do is plug the car in now, charge up all the batteries, and then if any of them don't have as high voltage as the others, I need to hook up a 
battery charger individually to those batteries, bring them up so that I can sync the voltages all up again. If I had a battery management system, it would handle doing all this automatically. And maybe that's something that I do need to look into installing into this car. The problem with a system like that is I would need to add hardware to every single battery that's in this car. And then program my BMS to monitor all of the batteries individually and make sure that they're completely balanced. So I'm going to plug this into the wall and let the car charge up. I have a slow charge rate selected right now. So I'll let this run, charge everything up. And for now, I'm just going to have to deal with doing this test and charging up my batteries individually to make sure that they are all at the same charge. But while I wait, I'm going to go look into BMS systems. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.